before we get started, question of the day. If you had to choose between a long barrel or a short barrel, what would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments. Disclosures. This fine weapon was provided to me by Division Arms, which is a little company in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. They do firearms training and sell um, guns and ammo, and they're in FFL. They're kind of revamping. They've got a lot of things planned coming up, so keep your eye out for them. But thank you, Division Arms, for letting me test this out. And incidentally, we'd appreciate its return, along with all your other equipment intact for once when you return from the field. But of course. On to the topic of the day, this SIG MPX PCC pistol caliber carbine. Now, the unboxing. I lift it up. I got it, I got it. Okay, the unboxing. Ooh. Right out the box, this is gorgeous. It is matte black, which is my personal favorite. So I'm obviously way into it. Not too heavy, not too light. It weighs it at a little over six and a half pounds. I believe it was 6.6 .6 pounds exactly. Um, so really good weight. It feels solid. The handguard is um, M-lock. There's Picatinny on top, as you can see. That's this bit here. There's a gap in the middle and then some Picatinny at the front, uh, which is great for putting on your sights. This does not come with any sights, so I'm going to have to get some iron sights order to add on. I've got an optic that I can throw on here for my range test. Um, so it doesn't come with anything like that. Oh my God, Lana, Lana, you know what I could totally go for right now? Some iron sights. Right? The muzzle has three ports at the front that um, you can kind of see the holes there. So that is supposed to help with the recoil. Ugh, it's black, powerful, sexy. Got your charging handle. We've got this stock that extends. It goes into five different positions and then it folds as well. Uh, phrasing? This comes with a 16 inch barrel, which is ready for competition, <laughs> competition shooting. <laughs> competition, okay. That doesn't make sense. This comes with a 16 inch barrel, which is great for competition shooting. I have not done any competition shooting yet, so I can't speak to that. But from what I hear, that is a huge plus of this. This can come in a lot of different sizes. Phrasing, boom! <clears throat> Inappropriate. You can adjust it down to three and a half inches, which is the size of like my baby Glock, my Glock 43. So a lot of options for how big or small you want it. So we're just done with phrasing, right? That's not a thing anymore. The size doesn't matter. Hey, phrasing! This is a short stroke gas piston. I have to be honest, I had to look that up because I'm still new and learning. Um, so I kept seeing about a short stroke and a long stroke gas piston. So apparently the long stroke gas piston is more of what you would see on an AK-47, and that gas piston is actually attached to the bolt carrier group and the whole piece moves, which means that there is a heavier recoil, but it's an easier to manage weapon. Um, it's easier to build as well. So this is a short stroke gas piston, which means that it is attached to the barrel, but not attached to the bolt carrier group. It builds up this force, it pushes the bolt carrier group forward, um, but it's not attached as one piece, so there's a lot less recoil. Apparently that's a benefit of this. I'm excited about that. Uh, the difference in shooting an AK-47 versus um, a carbine that's short stroke uh, gas piston, you can really tell the difference in recoil. So that's a plus that I'm excited about for this. Nerd alert! On the lower, there are kind of AR style controls this is really cool. This is uh, ambidextrous. So the same controls are on both sides. So you see uh, your fire safety here, um, your mag release. 
and then flip it to the other side. And bam, it's like seeing double. You're probably seeing double. I have two guns, one for each of you. This is the first gun that I'll have shot that has the ambidextrous um, controls on it. So I'll be excited to try that out. When I went to my carving class last week uh, or two weeks ago, we had to try shooting left-handed and it made a difference not having those controls on both sides. So I will be excited to test that out. I'm not an ambi turner. This has a pretty big magwell. This comes with one Lancer mag, 30 rounds. Uh, I can go in it, nine millimeter. I like Lancer mags a lot. I use that for my other carbine. Yeah, I was wondering how much something like this went for. These mags are not cheap. They come at 60 to $70 a piece. So that is a little bit of an investment if you want to have some stockpiled. Get the fuck out of here. No, I cannot. It's serious because it's very important base. The trigger. This comes with a single stage flat face Timney trigger. The pull's about five pounds, but the reset is very minimal. Apparently that's great for competition shooting, rapid fire, that Seems like it'll be really fun. Danger zone! We're gonna do a trigger test and a reset test. They're just took the flag out of it. There hasn't been any ammunition in it, so we're kind of ready to go. Yeah, you know, safety. Very light. Amazing. Price tag, this comes in around $2,000, a little more, a little less, depending on what features you add on or where you're getting it from, or what deals you might find. But $2,000 is about the average. Hello? This isn't necessarily for beginner shooters. This is more aimed at competition shooters. It's a pricey gun, once again. So if you're just kind of taking it to the range or just a hobbyist, you might not want to drop all of that. But if you want to build up your skills, maybe look towards heading towards competition, then this might be the gun for you. You must choose. Overall, this sounds like a great weapon. It's semi-automatic, short stroke gas piston, nine millimeter. It's got all the bells and whistles. So I'm gonna go take it to the range, test it out and see if it's as phenomenal as everyone says. Danger zone. big fan of the SIG MPX. I'm in love. It's so battery smooth, so easy to shoot, so light. Um, it did not come with an optic, but I already had a Trijicon MR editor on it, so that's great. Huge fan. Um, love how there's very little trigger break, very little recoil. Only thing is these um, mags are 70 bucks a piece, so to have extras, it's kind of a, kind of a big fun. You got to sink into it. Other than that, I love everything about it. Hit like and subscribe. That helps me make more videos and please keep coming back.